Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to introduce you to one of the new features of MP2 relative to the MPs that we've done so far this semester. And that is that this is the first app that you're working on for CS125 this spring that has two different screens. So I want to show you that. Um, so when you open up the, I'm showing you the solution set, but when you open up the uh, MP4, sorry, the MP2 app, once you have it working, uh, the first screen that launches when the app starts up is this setup screen that allows me to configure the board. Once I do that, I then have a different screen that shows me the gameplay and that updates as the players play. This is also a, a demonstration of how the solution works. If I go back to the setup, I can reconfigure the board to use different parameters, for example, um, and restart the game. So now I've changed the size of the board to be six by 10. In Android, each this is common for apps to have multiple screens that display different information to the user that sometimes correspond to a different state that the app is in. In Android, each one of these is represented by a separate activity. And so if you look over here, there are actually two activities associated with this particular app. In the past, we've only had one. There's been a main activity. But now I have both a setup activity, which I'll open up. Um, and I also have the game activity. I'm not going to show you all of this because there's some solution code in there. But in the setup activity, um, you'll see that both of them have their own layouts. So if I go over here to the res folder and look at the layout, I have uh, the X, this uh, setup activity layout, which I'll open up for you here. Um, and you know this, this shows you the different elements that are involved in the setup activity. And then I also have the game activity layout. And this one actually looks quite a bit different and we'll explain why that is in the, in the next screencast. The reason for this is that this layout is actually populated dynamically. But each one of these activities has their own layout so they can each look different. Um, and in many ways they operate uh, fairly independently of each other. But what I wanna show you is a little bit about how they interact. So when the app is launched, the setup activity is what's shown first. And that's actually configured in this file over here that's called the Android Manifest. Um, and so what the Android Manifest uh, does is because, um, so you see down here, the setup activity and the game activity are both included in here. The setup activity is the one that is started when the app is launched. It receives this intent, android.intent.action.main. Um, and so when the app starts up, I'm in my setup activity, I load my setup layout. And I do, you know, we've, we've commented this for you, I do some of the things that I've seen in the past where I set up my UI elements and, and prepare to receive inputs from the user about how to configure the game. Once the user is done configuring the game, so when I've, uh, let me go back to uh, change setup. Once I've entered in, you know, the appropriate values here, um, the, the next question is, how does this activity trigger the game activity to start? And then the second question is, how does the game activity know what size it should be? So down here, uh, this is where uh, in setup activity, this is the start game function that's called that causes the game activity to load and the app to switch screens. The way this is done in Android is using something called an intent. You'll see the intent is uh, a type of object that's set up here. Um, and the way that I tell Android which other screen I want to load is that I give it this argument here. So this says I want to start the game activity um, screen of the app, which is the one that shows the gameplay and where the different players have moved. Down here, um, the intent allows me to add some in extra information. And this is the way that one screen of the app can communicate with another screen. So one of the things, so what I'm doing here is I'm sticking information in this intent that tells the game activity, for example, how wide the board should be, how high it should be, uh, the number of pieces in a row that are required to win, and the names of the various players. Then down here, I actually start the activity. And then there's this call to finish, which causes this activity to exit. So, you know, I could put some logging in here, but essentially once I've finished configuring the game and I hit the start button, the start game code runs, and that's what causes the app to switch to this other screen. 
I, I'm not going to go through the corresponding uh, code and game activity, but there is code and game activity that essentially does the reverse, where when I hit change setup, it uh, s you know creates an intent like this. It uses setup activity dot class, and that causes the setup uh, the app to return to the setup activity. So this is an example of an app. Fairly simple has two screens. It's common for apps to have larger number of screens. And once you start to do that, there are sort of better ways to organize things. But for now with two screens, we have a setup activity that solicits some information, passes that information to the game activity using this intent. Um, and actually, why don't I actually go over here and just show you a little bit about the game activity. Um, and aha, so when the game activity starts, I'm in this onCreate method. And what you can see here is that the game activity is actually pulling that information out of the intent that was created, that was placed there by the setup activity. So the setup activity added a value to the intent called width. The game activity retrieves that value right here, intent.get int extra. You have to tell it what type of value it is. Um, and then it, it gets the names here. So this is how, when this activity begins to run, it retrieves the information that was passed to it by the setup activity. So every MP, we try to introduce you to a couple of new ideas in Android. In this MP, one of them is the idea of having multiple screens. This is something that obviously is really useful. A lot of apps do have multiple screens. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea about how to start to use this Android feature.